Today I thought I'd give you a quick update on our fall winter cover crop and our comfrey transplants. I view cover crops and comfrey as two of the most important soil fertility tools that we have at our disposal. Cover crops for their ability to fix nitrogen in the soil and produce organic matter from mulch and compost and comfrey for its ability to mine minerals and other nutrients from deep within the soil. Let's take a look at the cover crop first. I just planted the cover crop two weeks ago and it's already coming on very strong. In areas like this where the soil was bare, I was able to freely broadcast the seeds resulting in this nice thick carpet of cover crops. Some of the garden beds were covered with wood chips. In these beds I brushed aside the chips and created rows and planted the cover crop in those rows. And here you can see the result. In these beds it's not quite as thick, but I'm hoping it's enough to make a difference. And finally, some garden beds were both mulched with wood chips and were still growing crops. So in these beds I had to brush aside the wood chips like before, and I also had to plant around the crops. And here you can see the cover crop growing amongst the rainbow chard. Some of these plants are about 10 to 12 inches tall already. So far I'm very pleased with how the cover crop is going. Apparently this cover crop can get to be 4 to 6 feet tall. I don't know if that will happen before the snow knocks it down. But if it does we could end up getting some very strange looks from the neighbors. Now let's move on to our comfrey transplants. In my video entitled Easy Comfrey Propagation, I showed how I divided the roots of an existing comfrey plant into 10 sections. I then planted five of those sections in one area of the yard and the other five in another area. After just five to six weeks, these five, which were planted in a sunny spot, are doing quite well. These five are in a very shady location. They're a little bit smaller, but they're doing fine. What I didn't show in my prior video, however, was that I had an extra section of root, which I divided into one inch sections and then planted in the garden. Here's a comfrey plant that came up from one of those root divisions. And another. And another. And here's one that's just getting started. And you may have to squint to see this last one, but it's there. So now, including my original three comfrey plants, I have 18 comfrey plants. That may seem like a lot, but I'm just getting started. When it comes to free fertilizers, it doesn't get much better than comfrey. And I want a steady supply of this stuff for my comfrey tea, my mulch, and my comfrey smoothies. And my hope is, that by adding cover crops and expanding my use of comfrey, I'll continue to have fertile, productive garden soil without having to buy any store-bought fertilizers or soil amendments. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.